Good morning, Colleen. Dan's looking amazeballs as usual. So, hurry up and get a divorce already. Good morning, Ashley. As I've told you before, Dan and I are not getting a divorce. You need to stop hating on him. It's starting to bother him. You have no idea how Dan really feels, do you? He has to hide his love for me because he can't be with me since you won't divorce him. He's honorable like that. Why won't you stop avoiding reality? Pack your stuff and just leave. Then Dan and I could finally be together. Don't be a sore loser, Colleen. Ugh, how many times have we had this conversation? I know, right? So please, get the divorce. We're not getting a divorce. Stop asking. Anyway, I have to go to work, so bye. So you're running away from this conversation? That proves you know I'm right. You can't hide from the truth, Colleen. Your marriage is dead, okay? It's time to set down free. Hey, Dan. I heard from Ashley this morning. Convinced as ever that you love her. You okay? Hey, I ran into her at the corner. It took me forever to get rid of her. I ended up sprinting to catch the train. Seriously? Seriously. And today you wore your best suit freshly pressed because of that meeting you had with the CEO. I know, right? I started out the day in such a bad mood, but I had to ground myself for the meeting. Sounds stressful. Congrats for getting through it, though. Oh, yeah. About that meeting. Yeah? I seriously didn't see this coming. It's huge. I'll tell you all about it when I get home. <laughs> Huge. A huge step towards the future. Wow. But it's a major change for our family, and it won't be easy. The boss told me we should discuss if we are really up for it before making a decision. I wonder what it could be. It's too much to text, so we'll have a long talk when I get home, okay? All right. All right. See you in a few hours. Love you. Love you more. Colleen! Hey, how you doing? So, I see you're getting a lot of visitors lately. Hmm, I knew it. So you're finally getting the divorce. What? Now what have you dreamed up? Never mind, I might as well tell you now. Ashley, we're going to be moving soon. That's why you see us having guests over a lot. Oh, so that's why you've been throwing out more garbage lately than usual. And the thrift store truck, too. They came for a pickup. Are you watching us? That's pretty creepy. Anyway, could you please stop stalking my husband? Stalking? That is not what I am doing. Dan can't show his affection towards me because he's an honorable man. He loves me so much that he can barely look at me when we are together, knowing he can't touch me. So that's why I tell him every day, as much as I can, that I know he loves me. And we're soulmates. You're crazy. You're the crazy one. You won't admit that Dan's heart is mine now, even though it's totally obvious. Oh, about that. You have a wonderful husband and the sweetest little daughter. How can you, being a wife and mother, chase a married man around? How do you feel about that? Oh, that. Don't worry, we're getting a divorce. Oh? Really? Well, yeah. You know. No? I don't know. You're just pretending not to know because you don't want to admit it. Oh, Ashley. I never know what you're saying anymore. Anyway, the move is definite. So please stop stalking my husband. All right, all right. I'll leave him alone. For now. Hi, Dan. How did it go with Ashley this morning? Oh, yeah. She was unusually reserved today. Maybe because you told her about the move. She usually talks my ear off, but today she just said a casual hi and kept walking. But I think she was waiting for me at the corner, though. Hmm. I guess that's an improvement. Well, I'm not sure about that. What's going on? The way she ogles me. What? It's intense. Real intense. Ew. It really grosses me out. Oh, and she lingers on hugs. I hate that. I don't think we could have been any clearer about everything. I know, and I can't come out and say, please stop gawking at me because I'll look so full of myself. And she could just say, no, I didn't, and then what? Ugh, I can't wait to move. Me too. Oh yeah, I finally got in touch with Ashley's husband. Really? I was wondering why I hadn't seen him around lately. 
and it turns out he got assigned to a project out of state for work. I ran into him while he was back on a visit. So I told him what's going on with Ashley. What did he say? He said he's sorry about all the trouble Ashley is causing us. And it's true that they're getting a divorce. They're going through a custody battle right now. He found out that Ashley's leaving their daughter at his sister's all the time. So he came back to try to reason in court that she's neglectful and shouldn't have custody. I see. I guess they have a lot going on too. Yeah. Either way, we're out of here in a week. Yeah. We'll just have to tough it out. Morning, Colleen! I saw you and your daughter leaving with all your stuff just now. Your husband looked so sad waving goodbye to your daughter. But I guess that means it finally happened. You got the divorce! So that means... He's going to ask me to marry him tomorrow! I can't believe it! Actually, I have good news too. My divorce was finalized yesterday. We had a messy custody battle that dragged out. In the end, he got custody. But it's fine. I'll just make babies with Dan and start over. Just gotta wait to save up for our fairy tale wedding. Well, I better get packing. I'm so excited! Okay, I'm ready to start moving my things. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, can you give me Dan's number? What? Ashley, I just noticed all the notifications. Give me his contact info now. Oh, so you don't even know his number? It's just Dan playing hard to get. Exchanging phone numbers before we were both officially divorced could lead to... Misunderstandings, you know? Besides, we see each other all the time and celebrate our secret love. Secret love. <laughs> I just thought we could exchange all our contact info when we started living together. But I just took my stuff over there, and I can't get in because the door is locked. I guess Dan went out. Why don't you go back to your house? I just gave my keys back to the landlord. That's why I need to talk to Dan ASAP. Come on, just tell me. I don't think so. What? What do you care? You're divorced, right? So what is this? You still can't get over him? Really, Colleen, this is getting pathetic. Get over it. Petty is not a good look on you. I even told my parents about my marriage to Dan. It's time to exit left gracefully. Ashley, I don't know where you got the idea, but... We're not divorced. We're not getting divorced. What? But you said you were moving out. Yeah, we're all moving together. Huh? You're going back to your parents' house because you got a divorce, right? Your kid is leaving her elementary school, right? Because you got custody and you're moving away with your kid. Ugh, I'm telling you, we're all moving together. Of course Dan is coming with us. Besides, I never said I was going to get a divorce. Then why did I see Dan waving by at the door while you drove away with your kid? Wouldn't a happy family travel together? My husband had to stop by the company before our trip, so we left separately. I'm with him now at the airport. The airport? That's right. If you're flying there, I guess it's pretty far. Dan was promoted to branch manager in Switzerland. Switzerland? I'm not going to tell you which city. I wouldn't put it past you to follow us there. You can't do that. Dan wants to marry me. Give him back. If you don't let him leave your loveless marriage, how will he ever know true happiness with me? If you still care for him, let him go. You can't keep soulmates apart. You'll see. Ashley. What? So apparently you won't give a straight answer to Dan when he asks this, but I really need to know. What is it? Why do you think Dan is your soulmate? Huh? You know, it was really sudden when you started stalking Dan. What started it? I really don't appreciate being called a stalker, but fine. It was so romantic, like a fairy tale. <laughs> it still gives me butterflies. So I dropped my keys walking past your house. He picked up the keys and smiled that beautiful smile of his and said, Here you go. And at that moment, we fell in love. Okay. And when did this happen? I remember exactly. It was last October, the first Saturday of the month, in the afternoon. Okay, then. So that wasn't my husband. What? I'm almost positive Dan was at a friend's wedding that day. He drove back to his hometown on Friday to be ready for the big day. Saturday afternoon would be during that wedding. Oh, and just so you know, he didn't come home until Saturday. We have plenty of pictures of him at the wedding, and there's no way he could make the drive back here on such a busy weekend. That means there's no way whoever picked up your keys for you was Dan. What? But I saw him coming out of your house. Oh, hmm. 
That was probably an Amazon delivery guy. I don't believe you. I specifically remember thinking, wow, this guy looks a lot like my husband. What? What did you buy? I don't remember. Why not? It's been months. And besides, this is just a guess, okay? I didn't see the guy pick up your keys. I wasn't there. I'm just trying to prove to you that it wasn't my husband. But... So, I think I proved to you that you were mistaking Dan for someone else. I guess you're right. I'm crushed. But I know I met my soulmate. That's great. I wish you luck in finding him. What? You're not going to help me? I can't. My plane is leaving soon. No! Wait. Don't leave me like this. Where am I supposed to go? Where? I can't go back to my old house. Actually, there was a little issue and i can't stay at my parents either if you're moving to switzerland does that mean you sold your house yeah of course i'm homeless they're calling us to the gate what take care bye no help me help ashley's ex-husband told me about what happened after that apparently right after my last conversation with her she tried to get back with him He'd actually moved away with his parents, kid, and sister to start fresh somewhere else. So he obviously shut that down fast. I heard about this from the moms at school. But Ashley tracked down her soulmate delivery guy. It turns out he tricked her and conned Ashley out of all she had. On top of that, everyone knew how psycho she got with my husband and cut her out of their lives. Where it is, she's looking to make ends meet. It was the kind of incident that shook me to the core. Especially because it all started from a case of mistaken identity.